the majority of experienced C-sharp developers think that they understand the difference between an abstract class and an interface very well. But when I ask a developer to explain the difference, I hear almost always the same answer, which explains only the mechanical difference between the two concepts. However, there is a deeper semantical difference between them. But first things first. Let's consider the mechanical and semantic difference between abstract classes and interfaces one by one. The main mechanical difference is that an abstract class can have a default implementation, whereas an interface is just a bunch of member declarations, it defines their signatures. Here we clearly see that the abstract class is capable of defining virtual members with implementations. The interface is not capable of doing such things. Let's talk about the semantic payload of abstract classes and interfaces. Very often you can hear that interfaces define contracts. This statement becomes more convincing with the fact that we treat interfaces and contracts equally in WCF. In WCF a service contract can only be represented by an interface. In the real world, including the real world outside of programming, Contracts have some semantic payload. Usually they determine some kind of relationships between people, rights, objects and so on. Interfaces have no any semantic payload. They determine nothing except signatures. But signatures don't bear any significant semantic payload. An interface represents just a shape. Thus, interfaces are not contracts. Here is an example of a true contract provided by Krzysztof Kvalina. This contract says that when an item is added to the collection, the count property is incremented by 1. Also, this contract is locked for all subtypes. This is a real contract, since it imposes semantic. Let's consider the difference between an abstract class and an interface from the API design point of view. Interfaces are made of stone. They can't be easily changed without breaking existing clients. At the same time, interfaces are easily extendable by clients. A client can extend an interface by extension methods and, by the way, if a client wants to implement an interface on a class which already inherits from another class, a client can easily do that. A client couldn't do that with an abstract class instead of an interface, since multiple inheritance in C-sharp is deprecated. So, in the end, an interface is more supple from the client's perspective. Any class can implement as many interfaces as it wants to. Unfortunately, an interface is more rigid from the developer's perspective. It cannot be easily changed and it doesn't support reusability. An abstract class supports reusability of logic. It supports encapsulation. And it can be extended without breaking existing clients. So, in the end, an abstract class is supple from the developer's perspective and more rigid from the client's perspective. With all that said, it's become clearer why API developers so often use abstract classes for building internal APIs, while interfaces for providing external points of extension. Remember, this is not a dogma. Every design case is unique. The goal of this discussion is to give you a deeper understanding of the difference between abstract classes and interfaces. Let's look at an example from an open source project. The bitmatrix is an abstract class which exposes a lot of reusable code. The square bitmatrix overrides the width and height and reuses the base class logic, while stays abstract by itself. The hierarchy goes even deeper. I'll not provide code examples of interface from the BCL, just recall that BCL provides the iCollection, iList, iNotify property changed, and tons of other interfaces. This is done so because extensibility from the client's perspective is more important in these cases. 
You can find a great example of extensibility problems connected with interfaces and abstract classes in the book Framework Design Guidelines by Krzysztof Kualina. You'll find this book on Amazon. I attached the corresponding link to this lecture.